This is eDevice week 2 tutorial 3. I'll be going through two questions, which is question 4 as well as question 5 for this tutorial. For question 4, we are given the circuit as shown in figure Q4. And in this circuit here, we are supposed to find the minimum as well as maximum value for Vs. We are given the following parameters IZK is equal to 10 milliamps, IZM is 200 milliamps, VZ is 10 volts. The resistance of R1 is 100 ohms and the resistance of RL is 500 ohms. Now to start with this question here, uh, we need to find what is the KBL equation in this loop here. So in this KBL loop equation here, uh, Vs is the voltage provider for the resistor R1 as well as the zener diode Vz. Hence by KBL, you will have Vs is equals to Vr1 plus Vz. From here, we ask ourselves what are the parameters which is, uh, which is a fixed value. So since Vz is given as 10 volts, so Vz is actually a fixed value here. Okay. To find what is the min minimum as well as maximum value for Vs, that means the unfixed value or the value that actually changes right, is actually this Vr1. So I just put it down here, Vr1 is the unfixed value. And then we go one step uh, further to find out what is uh, the uh, equation for Vr1. So we can expand this equation out right, to give as Vs is equals to I, IT. Right. By the way, IT is the current that comes out from this uh, voltage source Vs here. Okay, so this to total current IT here will then be split up into two currents, IZ as well as IL. Okay, so IT times R1 will be equal to VR1. Okay, so VR1 will then add to VZ. Okay, as said before, VZ is a fixed value. And uh, looking at VR1 here, since it's an unfixed value, so uh, and VR1 being equals to IT times R1, so we have to see here which two, which one is actually the uh, fixed value. So in this case, since R1 is also given as a fixed value of 100 ohms, so R1 is also a fixed value. Meaning to say, IT is actually at the unfixed value here. Okay. Now, uh, if we place this point here as point A, right? So by KCL at point A, this is what we are going to derive. The current IT will be equals to the Zener current at to the load current. Okay. Now this equation here, right, uh, can be expanded further to give IT is equals to IZ plus Okay, now IL is the current passing through the loop resistor RL. Okay, so that means it's VRL over RL. Okay, now since the loop resistor RL is in parallel with the Zener diode, so therefore VRL is also equals to VZ. And VZ has a fixed value. Okay, RL also has a fixed value in this case. Okay, so that means to say IL is a fixed value overall. Okay, and therefore IZ is the one that is unfixed here. So to find IT, let's say we want to find IT minimum. What we have to put for IZ here, right, in order for IT to be a minimum value. So I, IZ has to be uh, given a value of uh, IZK instead of IZM. Okay, so it's IZK plus VZ over RL. So if we calculate out what is IT mean, uh, this will be equals to uh, 10 milliamps add to the division of VZ and RL here. So VZ in this case is 10 volts, RL in this case is 500 ohms. Okay, that amounts to 10 milliamps add to 20 milliamps. So the value of IT mean is 30 milliamps. Now, uh, from IT mean equals to 30 milliamps, right, then we can actually uh, put this value back into our KBL equation, okay? So, uh, KBL equation is actually Vs is equals to IT times R1 plus Vz, okay? 
So since IT is essentially a minimum value and both R1 and VZ are fixed values, so that means uh, the value that we calculate for VS is also a minimum value. Okay, so therefore Vs mean is just equals to 30 milliamps multiplied with R1, which is equals to 100 ohms, and add to Vz, which is 10 volts. Okay, so that will be 3 volts plus 10 volts, so you will have 13 volts for Vs mean. Next, we want to find out what is IT max okay, from the KCL equation. So, uh, the KCL equation is just IT is equals to IZ plus VZ over RL. Okay, VZ and RL are both fixed values. So in order for us to find out what is the uh, IT maximum value, so we have to put IZ as IZM. So substituting the values inside this equation here, IZM is given as 200 milliamps. Okay. Uh, Vz divided by RL is 10 volts divided by 500 ohms. So we will have 220 milliamps for IT max. And we can put this IT max value back into the KBL equation to find Vs max. So Vs max is just equals to IT maximum multiplied with R1 at 2 Vz. Okay, so in this case, it's 220 milliamps multiplied with 100 ohms at to 10 volts. So this will be 22 volts plus 10 and Vs max is 32 volts. So that's for question 4. Going on next to question 5, we are supposed to determine the minimum as well as maximum values of the uh, series resistor RS for this following circuit here. Now note that uh, we are given the values for Vz which is 3.3 volts, uh, Izk which is 3 milliamps, Izm which is uh, 100 milliamps and also the value for RL here is 2K. Uh, the voltage source Vs is 20 volts. Okay, so let me just place the uh, parameters for the currents here. Okay, coming up from the voltage source Vs is the total current IT. So this current IT will then be split up into two branches, which is uh, IZ going into the zener diode, as well as IL, which is going into the load resistor. To start with, we have to always uh, derive the KVL equation first from this uh, KVL loop here. Okay. So by KVL inside that loop, so we will have Vs equals to the voltage across the resistor RS. So it's VRS at to Vz. Okay? That is to say the voltage source Vs is actually providing voltage to the resistor RS as well as to the zener diode. So we can then expand this equation out to give uh, IT multiplied with Rs at to Vz. Okay. So then we ask ourselves um, what is actually fixed or unfixed value here from this equation. Okay. We wanted to find out Rs minimum as well as maximum here. Okay. So in this case, if you want to find that, uh, the Vz value is already given, right? which is 3.3 volts. So this Vz value here is actually a fixed value. Okay. The Vs value, the voltage source value, is also a fixed value here, okay, since it has a fixed value of 20 volts. So meaning to say, right, this IT here is the unfixed value that we need to find. Okay. Uh, perhaps we can just derive the equation for Rs first. Okay. So Rs will be equals to Vs minus Vz over IT. Next, we move on to uh, find what is the equation for IT. Okay, so if we place this point here as point A by KCL, so IT will be equals to IZ plus IL. Okay, and from here, uh, we can expand this equation out, right, to give uh, IZ plus uh, VRL over RL. 
since the IL current is actually the current passing through the loop resistor RL here. Okay. Uh, we also know that uh, the resistor RL is in parallel with the zener diode, so therefore VRL is equals to VZ. And since VZ has a fixed value, so it's actually uh, IL itself is actually a fixed value. Okay. RL is also fixed. Okay. So therefore, if we want to find what is IT mean, we need to substitute the value of IZK into IZ. Okay. So IT mean will then be equals to 3 milliamps add to the division of VZ over RL. So VZ in this case is 3.3 .3 volts, RL is 2 kilo ohms. Okay. And hence, we will have a IT minimum current of 4.65 milliamps. Okay. Let's just calculate for IT max as well. To calculate for IT max, that means the IZ value inside the KCL equation has to be a IZM. Okay. So this IZM, IZM value here is uh, given as 100 milliamps. Adding up, so IT max will then be equals to 101.65 milliamps. And then if we want to find what is RS minimum or maximum, right? Now, RS has this equation here, which we earlier derived, Vs minus Vz over IT. So if we wanted RS maximum value, so what we need to substitute inside this equation here is IT has to be a minimum value. The denominator has to be a minimum or small value, okay, in order for you to get a maximum RS value. So in this case here, uh, we substitute values inside. Vs is 20 volts minus 3.3 .3 volts for Vz over IT mean, which is 4.65 milliamps. So RS maximum will then be equals to 3.59 kilo ohms and for rs mean we will wanted to find what is rs mean so that means we have to put the denominator as it maximum substituting the values inside we have 20 volts minus 3.3 .3 volts over it max it max in this case is 101.65 milliamps Okay, so therefore RS mean will give us a value of 164.29 ohms. Okay, so therefore the range of RS value here uh, is ranging from 164.29 ohms to 3.59 kilo ohms. And that is for question 5.